course, this is Nicolette Barrett coming at you, your virtual career mentor. Got another topic for you today. So as always, get your pens, get your paper, get whatever note-taking um, tool that you use out and ready to go. All right, here we go. So today's topic we're going to talk about is just say no. Just say no. Sometimes you have to say no. You have to think about what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. So don't be that person that jumps at every opportunity and project just because you think it's going to elevate your career. Mm -hmm. This actually can work against you and not necessarily for you. And you can develop a reputation of being sort of like a project hog or an opportunist by your peers, or worse, by your leadership. I know you have had experiences working in an environment or on a job where there's this one person that volunteers for everything before you even get a chance to do anything. That's fine. Let them have it. We want to be strategic in how we're volunteering for projects, how we're taking on projects for ourselves, and really think about Will it enhance what we're trying to do in our careers? So I have a couple of tips for you that I want you to think about the next time there's an opportunity or project that's in your view for you to jump on or even think about. Stop, take a step back, and really think it through. So this is a one, the one thing, I want, a couple of things I want you to do. Number one, choose projects and opportunities that align with what your career goals are. For example, do you really think organizing the office holiday party will elevate your career? Or worse yet, <laughs> being seen as the party organizer in your office? Now that's okay if, if, if you're looking to get into event planning or that's something that you're thinking about doing on the side Maybe that experience can help you out. But as far as a career goal within the company that you're working for, chances are probably not a good career move. Now, there are some um, organizations that actually have event planners. Again, you don't even have to do it as a side business or think about doing it as an entrepreneurial um, effort. There are some companies that actually have event planners. And if you want to build it for that kind of career, yes. It's just about being strategic and not jumping on every bandwagon and then going into your performance review and tell your boss all of the things that you've organized and did as projects, but it's really not advancing um, the actual department, the goals, the company, or anything. So just think about that. Number two, when a project of interest that aligns with your career goals come up or is brewing in your manager's mind, put yourself out there and ask to lead it or at the very least be a part of the committee. Just ask. Keep your ears open and keep your focus. And if you have a strong career strategy, this will always be in the forefront of your mind anyway. So be focused on that. And when you think it's about to be on the horizon, say something as soon as you possibly can. Number three, last tip. Don't become a yes person every time a project or opportunity comes up. This will be a waste of your time and your energy if it does not line up with your career strategy. That's why it's so important to have a career strategy so you don't run down that rabbit hole unnecessarily. If you don't have a career strategy, don't know how to create one, contact me or get to your nearest um, career developer, career coach, or what have you to get that taken care of. And then looking at your how you're going to um, do that, wasting your time and your energy will take you away from your actual job that you're actually hired and paid to do. So think about it before you say yes and, and jump on every single project where now your peers or someone around you will have to pick up the slack 
while you're working all of the 10 million projects. So be careful and think about a balance when you're actually volunteering for those projects and putting yourself out there. You want to have that experience, but you want to balance it so that you can get your job done and don't create this uh, reputation or this perception that you are a, a project hog and that you're only caring about what you're doing and how to advance your career and everybody else is left to do the work. That's not great with your relationship building. So be careful in doing that. And then overall, those are my three tips. Overall, be really honest about what you want and need out of your career. And then come on with a list of non-negotiables to implement into your career strategy that you can use as a guide the next time you're making a career decision when it comes down to projects. So, so let me hear you say it. Say no, no. Think it through. Don't be so quick. Make sure it's a great career move. Don't overload yourself with projects. Keep that balance. And that will actually help you elevate your career and hack your career as we're doing. That's all for now. So what I would like you to do is put your comments down, your thoughts about this topic, um, um, any kind of you know feedback or what have you, your experiences, and also encouraging others to think that through because you may have had an experience where it backfired. It's okay to talk about that. So go ahead and do that and subscribe, of course, to the channel and tell all your friends and connect with me with all of social media. And if you're on Facebook, group, I mean Facebook, make sure you check out the Career Hackers Mastermind Group. It's a closed group, so you have to request to be a member. And I will um, allow you to come in, and then we help each other and encourage each other and um, do a lot of, I give a lot of great tips on that. So think about that as well. But as always, I appreciate all of my um, viewers, and I appreciate your support. And until the next episode... I'm Nicolette Barrett, your virtual career mentor, career development strategist extraordinaire. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.